Hi folks, Michael Tudore here. I'm here to tell you that Vancouver real estate market is up and down. That's causing concern for lots of people who do not know what to do next. But do not let that fool you. I'm here to help you with some indicators and provide you some ratios of chances that either crash, a correction, or more the same is happening in Vancouver real estate market. I was hoping April showers will bring May flowers, but I'm here with some data to tell you that we are not out of the woods yet. Before we dig in, just a quick reminder to check out my channel by hitting sus subscribe if you like what you see. It is important to know that the market sentiment lags two to three months. That means even if people felt the time to act was in January, February, we are seeing results now. Let's get a bad word out, out of the way. Crash! It's one in 10 chance that you'll see of this magnitude sudden drop in prices. BC economy is doing very well despite issues with fuel prices. Economists expect that BC to continue leading in full-time jobs creation up to 2020. Is there a crash at all? If there is, it's like a small earthquake. Likely before, it's over. I'm confident that I'm continuing more the same or correction, which I believe is 70% likely the trend. Wait, do not jump to conclusion just yet, because the correction is in the prices I'm seeing, it's more in the range of four to 6%, depending where you live, and that means a lot of money for some people. The insane heights of Vancouver pricing cannot be undone. But we do know one thing, now the purchase of power has increased on average by 20%, especially in the touch market. It's too bad that the mortgage stress test does not allow some people to take advantage of some great opportunities out there. How low will go? Consider the condo and townhouse market. I believe you'll see a 4 to 6% correction by the end of this year, with some variation based on housing type and location. All the same or status quo, more unpredictable as we've seen for the past six months, maybe. Something has to give. Vancouver real estate market has been on the auto drive for such a long time. And now everyone has a gearbox vehicle and do not know what to do. That leaves us with 30% chance of this trend continuing. If you have a prediction on your own or want a copy of April stats, let me know in the comments below or email me. I'll be happy to send it to you. You're thinking of making a move and need a little help navigating this Vancouver real estate market, please contact this guy right here.